So you're the world's biggest Marvel vs. Capcom fan, and you finally got your hands on the Marvel vs. Capcom arcade one-up cabinet, and after spending $500 on this thing, you're thinking to yourself, if only there was an easy way to fix those crappy-ass speakers. Don't worry, I got you covered. This is a Logitech Z313 computer speaker system, 50 watts is more than enough power, and this standard headphone jack is going to allow us to plug into the RK1 at PCB, and for this project we're not going to use the two included small speakers. And the best part is this thing retails for $35. Alright, so let's start by removing the back panel by taking out the three screws that hold it in place. Alright, now we're going to set the speaker system in place, we'll start by taking it out of the box. By Taking it out of the, take it up, come on, there, there you go. Take it out of the box, and you'll see that it's a pretty small, pretty compact unit. Should fit in there nice and easy, a little four inch subwoofer down there. I guess that's technically a subwoofer. All right, now we're gonna unplug the speakers from the PCB. And now we're gonna plug the stock speakers into an auxiliary extension cable. You can pick these up on Amazon for about six bucks. And now we can take the other end of that extension cable and plug it into the back of the amplifier. It's gonna be the very top port marked uh, speaker input. All right, the two remaining connections is gonna be the AC power. That's gonna plug in the wall, obviously. All right, set the volume to maximum on the volume control knob. And then the last connection is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is gonna connect into the back of the PCB on your arcade one -up. Now the only modification needed is a small notch on the back panel of your cabinet. Make sure you plug the power back into the PCB and then reattach the back panel. All right, plug the amplifier into the wall, straighten up your wires, and let's see if all of our hard work paid off. Now, if you ever want to return this thing back to stock, unplug the unit, take everything out, and the little notch that we cut will actually disappear completely into that routed groove in the bottom of the cabinet. You'll never know it was there. Now, on my custom Alien vs. Predator cabinet, I poured at the front of the box and covered that with a speaker grill, and then I wanted the controller, the volume controller, outside, so I mounted that to the front. Also, wanted the ability to actually plug in a set of headphones if I was gaming late night and uh, I had kids trying to sleep. Now, if you wanted to have access to that volume control knob and then have the ability to plug in a set of headphones, I think you could do that by taking off the control panel and then notching the J panel underneath so the wire could pass through, and then mount the volume control knob to the J panel and then put it all back together. I think that would make for a clean install. Alright, that about does it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section what do you think about this truly plug and play modification. I don't see any reason why you couldn't perform this same modification on any third generation RK 1UP. And if you do so, let me know that as well. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day and I will see you next time.